Hello, hello ladies. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the corner in my kitchen with my tub chair. I felt like this video really needed more of a chilled vibe. So we're just chilling today. We're just gonna have a little chat. Then you're gonna see some fly on the wall video of me on my lip blushing journey, which has, I've gotta say, been a very, very positive journey. I've had an absolute blast. I've learned a lot along the way. Um, and if I can encourage anybody else to have that confidence to go for something like that and not shoo the thought away, then I'm here to do that. I am not being paid, by the way, for any referrals for lip blushing. Uh, I certainly haven't been paid for this video. However, the treatment was a gifted club. This is an honest review. It's all about me telling you exactly how my journey went. Whether or not you're considering having lip blushing, you'll be seeing the raw footage as it comes at you. Um, so my lip blushing journey started from a small advert that popped up. I don't know whether it was Facebook or Instagram. I'm not too sure. It was for the Tracy Giles Permanent Makeup Clinic. At the time, I didn't realize it was for the clinic. I just saw a before and after of a pair of lips that had no definition and lots of flush to a pair of lips that looked beautiful and kissable. And I just thought, wow, that is a treatment that actually I could really, really benefit from. So flip reverse, let's go back a little bit. My natural lips are, and I'll pop a little picture here. My natural lips are very pale, little to no definition whatsoever, and pretty thin. So all in all, thanks God. <laughs> Um, so that's one of the things that if I could have improved on, then I was definitely going to kind of look into that and potentially bite the bullet. Um, so when I saw that there was a treatment called lip blushing, which I've got to be honest, I hadn't heard of it till about six months ago. This really did seem like a treatment that was going to benefit somebody like myself. So I contacted the clinic. They were happy to do a collaboration and the process started. So first of all, I had to pop down to Knightsbridge and have a consultation. Now within the consultation, I didn't actually video anything in that consultation because at the time I didn't really know how comfortable my consultant was going to be with me bringing in a camera but actually it turns out that a lot of influencers go there and a lot of celebrities go there so they're kind of used to cameras etc so I'll just run through briefly what what we chatted about so she wanted to get an idea of what I was looking for so for me it was about both definition and color designing me a pair of lips the pair of lips that I would have liked that I didn't get this is actually a trademarked treatment by Tracy Giles. It's called the Gloss and Go. That basically means that once the treatment's done, all you have to do in future is stick a little bit of gloss on and you go. And that is so true, but I'll go into this a little bit later on. So obviously consultation was done. That was done in January. And then my first treatment was booked. I went down there on my own. I mean, I could have gone with a friend, but I actually felt like I just wanted to do that first one on my own. The first bit of footage is a little bit of a fly on the wall video. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy. Good morning, morning. It is the morning of this lip blushing treatment. I've got to say, I'm not massively nervous. I am slightly anxious. I'm, well, it's a blooming face tattoo, isn't it? Let's just cut to the chase here. It is a face tattoo. So I think anyone who's about to have that done is going to feel a little bit trepidatious. And that is definitely how I'm feeling. But at the end of the day, this is something that I want to have done. Something I've been thinking about for a long time. I think I found the perfect clinic and the best consultants that I can find. Find, so I am buzzing. Plan for today is that I am getting the train into London and then I'm going to get the underground down to Knightsbridge. I probably won't do any footage on the train. The next time you'll see me will be in the salon, no doubt. And I believe the treatment is about two and a half to three hours long. They like to get me in there early just to get some numbing cream on my lips. Now, talking about numbing cream, I did actually order some on Amazon because I wanted to extra numb myself. Yeah, I just thought if I can try to make this as painless as possible, um, then I will do. So I did order some cream. I haven't got it with me I think it's already packed in my bag um, which I may apply about 20 minutes before I get into the salon but what I did last night was I used my new wow lip scrub in the shower Ooh, completely exfoliating the whole of my lips just to kind of give the tattoo basically the best chance of getting in there and staying in there um, so hopefully that was the right thing to do so as you can see naturally I've got very very pale lips 
and also naturally you can see how there is no definition you can see here I've got a break in the pigment there's no real line the other thing that's quite interesting and this is something I read last week is that most of us have much bigger lips than we actually think and I thought oh okay talk to me where I normally put my lip line is here see where that natural shadow is just there that's where I put my lip line there if I do that I should go to three quarters of a centimetre, which is very unattractive, but you can see what I'm doing. If I was to put my lip liner on the edge of where my lip pigment finishes, my lips would look teeny tiny. Whereas if I put it here, which is where I always do, if I leave my finger there, do that. I don't know if she's going to go that low. It's actually a good point. But I did say if you could put it where I normally put my lip liner, that would be amazing because it's just this wasted space here, which may as well be lip. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is the discussion that I need to do in this part of this lip blushing treatment. So she'll give me about probably an hour before the treatment starts to numb the lips, design the lips. And then once I'm happy and she's happy, that's when the process starts. So I I need to go and get these boys some bracky. Bye. I'm on my way. Heading towards platform five. Very exciting. At this point, we had decided on a lip shape and my consultant was now designing my new lips. I think I was actually feeling a little bit uh, nervous at this point. So now she's using a little white liner to help accentuate the shape that she's just created. It's like the white pencil now. Yeah. Because you're like, why is she on my cheek? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hang on, I've got something on my nose here. <laughs> could not contain how excited I was that I was seeing these lips. I was like, they cannot possibly make it look this good. Ah! And the tattooing begins. Little pricky sensations all around my lips. When do you put the number three on? <laughs> Once I've done this fast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing this fast. You're doing amazing. Because you moan as much as you want. Right, I'm gonna numb you in a sec, okay? I'm gonna top it. So she's done one coat over the uh, top lip and now she's applying the numbing cream. So you put the numbing cream after you've opened the skin almost? Yeah, yeah. so we put the pre-num, it's basically like a cream, it's the only thing that can penetrate the skin. Right, But yeah. because this is water-based, gel-based, yeah. it can't penetrate the skin, so it only works when the skin is open. Okay. Mm. Oh, so just pop them together for me again. And then do my this way. I think at this point I was imagining walking out of the Tracy Giles clinic with huge swollen lips. That was probably going through my mind at this point. Um, what I would say at this, um, at this stage is that the liner, as in the edge of the lips, is certainly more pricky than the dye going into the lip. The whole process. We've got here for two hours, but yours is going in wonderful. So I would say maybe two more passes and we should be done. The darker the lip, the more yeah. thickness you have. It takes longer. I 
gonna say at this point we're probably about 45 minutes in um, we've, she's probably done two swipes of both the top and the bottom lip and I'm fully numb at this stage <laughs> It looks like I've had lip filler as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice colour. It's a beautiful colour. So we'll just wait a minute for that. morning so this is day two um, I'm actually just about to do my Matalan haul so if you haven't seen that video check it out this is day two my lips are feeling a little bit tight they are quite dry they're beginning to really dry out I don't know if you can see a huge amount I think at the moment because I'm quite conscious of it and I'm just not used to having quite prominent lips I think the shape's brilliant I think the colors fab I think once that fades down and it, you're supposed to lose about 50% of the color look how glamorous my uh, my car looks with the car seats real life real mums so yeah i'm excited so i just thought i'd let you know this is day two it's starting to dry a little bit in there you can see that's all gonna flake off as far as i'm aware i don't know if you can see but my natural lip line finishes about here so she's gone over by about a millimeter which obviously when i first saw it i was like oh my god oh my god but actually the more i'm seeing it and watching it heal the more i'm beginning to like it and get used to it but at the moment it is a different shape and it's a different feel and it does feel quite tight i think it's all gonna change day on day so this is day two see you later good morning um this is day three day three since i had my first treatment of lip blushing and you can just see such a huge difference just overnight if i come in a little closer you can see it's all peeling just around mainly around the edge to be quite honest with you but i think that's kind of where my consultant focused to in order to get that sharp line and again around the bottom as well now what i can say from day three is that the color is spot on i know you shouldn't judge it at this point and they do say that it goes through a lot of different processes over the next like five to six weeks but it's not as vibrant and as dark as it was when i first came out the clinic and i think that's what hit me straight away i was like oh gosh it's really dark but i knew i knew in my head i knew in my heart that it was going to fade by 50 percent. but it's still a shock when you first see yourself especially as I'm used to having very, very pale, anemic looking lips. So yeah, I would say on day three, I am positive and looking forward to all of this crustiness disappearing, but I know I can't touch it. It's just part of the process. I am actually filming today, but I'm not filming close up. I did that yesterday. So hopefully by next Wednesday, it will be a lot more healed. So that is all good. God, my studio is a mess. I need to give it a good old clean today. Um, so there we go. So that's day three. We're going through the peeling stage. So first treatment was done and it was now a matter of time, a matter of healing. I've got to be honest with you, I was expecting the healing process to be quite a long period of time. Hence the reason I didn't book my follow-up treatment for seven weeks after. In hindsight, I could have probably gone back after three, four weeks maximum. I don't know if my lips healed quicker than normal or whether there is healing going on underneath that you just can't see um, on the surface. So for me, the flaking, the dryness, the tightness, that was all kind of done and dusted within a week. And I could very much see the tattoo. I could very much see the color and the shape and the sharpness around the edge. So I was absolutely buzzing. And I just thought, well, the second treatment's only going to just clarify it, touch up any bits and I'll be sent on my way with lips. <laughs> Um, so this next bit of VT is my second treatment, which is actually the final treatment. And this is seven weeks after. Good morning, ladies. Oh my goodness. I was supposed to do a bit to camera before I left this morning. And um, yeah, it was, just wasn't gonna happen. Getting the kids ready for school, um, getting everything packed up for today. It just didn't happen. So um, I am on my way back to Londinium for my follow-up.
follow-up treatment um, and actually I'm meeting my sister who I don't get to see very often because she lives in Dover. She is going to be meeting me at Euston um, and then we've got a couple of hours to do a bit of shopping before we head to the treatment. I'm excited to see her and I'm excited for the day ahead. I've got to go, bye! Just walking to the train station. Do you like my new cargo pants? That's all I was going to put on here. I'll speak to you soon. Hello ladies, I'm Hello. Up bigger than you. <laughs> <laughs> this is my big sister, Jepsy, Jepsy. Hi. She's coming with me for this appointment. We're about, I've lost a leg, by the way, on my tripod, which has really <laughs> upset me. Um, a bit wonky. And we're just walking through Covent Garden. Oh, hang on, I've just got to get through this crowd of people. We are yeah, about half an hour away from our appointment, but we have enough time to go to Kiko. Is that right? Always. Love a Always. Kiko trip. And Josie's coming with me to my appointment. So, yeah, very, very excited. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. So many nail colours. Oh my god, ladies, seriously. The amount of lip products. I mean, how many lip products do you need? Look at those lip liners. Josie, what are you here today to um, to purchase? Well, always a lip gloss. I love a lip gloss. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you going to numb me up? Okay. So, I'm going to numb you throughout the treatment. Yeah. But for the first pass, I just need to get in there and open the skin. Okay. So what I'll do is after we've left this on for a bit, mm -hmm. we'll draw them in again, like the bits that we want in. Mm. And then I'll just go over those. Mm -hmm. Right, let's see. So you want to go a little bit lower down here. Yeah, literally just a, st a straight lower, I reckon. Mm -hmm. We're not changing the top lip, are we? We're just making it more crisp. I think so, yeah. Maybe instead of it kind of being a bit rounded at the top, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit more of a, a peak. I think a bit more of a peak, if possible. <laughs> Sorry, I'm literally okay. like your worst person. <laughs> massive amount of work today mm -hmm. because you've come back with amazing results. My main objective today is to rectify the shape like where we drew them in mm -hmm. and then just even them out if there's any like patchy bits. Close your eyes. I think the wife thought it was a good idea. Oh, <laughs> You're not coming again. <laughs> Joe, you're just rocking the bed. Joe! <laughs> She's just stuck that thing up my nose. <laughs> Have you done any on landscape? Yes. <laughs> Say again. Have you done any on landscape? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Rude. If you haven't had a little sister, you wouldn't have all of these fun days out. <laughs> Learning about what people do to their bodies. <laughs> I'm finished. Obviously, I'm quite swollen at the moment. Oh, Joey, really? she wants to be in this video, don't you? <laughs> I will be in this video. It does feel quite... But uh, that will settle down, so I think it's a gin and tonic time, isn't it? <laughs> Hello, me again. <laughs> It's the next day. I didn't manage to get a, a piece to camera to you last night. It was so late and I was absolutely schnackered. Today I've been filming, so I have actually been fully made up for this one. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take off all of the lipstick and you'll be able to see. Now it's beginning to peel, just literally overnight. So it's like 24 hours. Um, and it is beginning to peel very, very slightly, just on the lip line. That's where it happened the last time as well. So I'm really hoping Hoping it still keeps the clarity of the line. By the way, uh, this is my backdrop while I'm in the kitchen. Just have to double check there wasn't anything uh, untoward. So yeah, that's where we're at. If I just lift up and I kind of go more into the light, that's better. So look, I mean, I've wiped off all of the lipstick now and that is what you've got. If I do this, <laughs> really flattering, you can see how defined and how kind of sharp 
that edge is. And she's gone right into the corner here, which is what I wanted her to do after that first session. She's definitely sharpened up the Cupid's bow and she's gone back down into that corner as well. I never even looked at my lips like this ever before I had this treatment. So actually the fact that I'm scrutinizing them now is kind of a little bit ironic really. Um, I am absolutely chuffed to bits. It's the best aesthetic treatment I've ever had. And I do think it does certainly improve the look of my lips. I'm just hoping that through the healing process, we don't lose too much of that pigment, but they say to come back within a year, year and a half, two years. It just depends on how quickly your body gets rid of foreign bodies, I guess, which is the dye. So yeah, there we go. So we're kind of coming to the end of this process and we'll do another bit to camera in about a week's time, just so you can see a week after the final result. Um, and then I'm going to get all this edited and out to you, but obviously you're watching it. So I've already edited it. Right. I'm going to love you and leave you and tidy my house. Toodle pip. Hello. I just thought I'd quickly come on. I'm literally halfway up the stairs to go and carry on editing this week's video. Actually, it might be last week's video now if you're seeing this next week. Anyway, but I just thought it'd be a really good opportunity to show you my lips and a little bit of gloss on. This is a whole day. I've not done any top up or anything and I've still got a lot of colour on my lips. And I'm just really loving them. It's just very different for me because at this point in the day, if I hadn't done a touch up, um, God, I'm out of breath. I've only walked up the stairs. Just without a touch up, my lips would be completely pale now with a little bit of bleeding around the edge, but they're not now. And this is the end of the day. This is a half past five. I applied this makeup at about 10 o'clock this morning. So I am really happy with these lips. So we're what, two weeks after the final treatment. Um, and this is what we're looking at. There we go, done, dusted. We're now on week four after my final treatment and I'm absolutely loving the results. For me, I'm definitely gonna be going back. So yeah, I've had a really, really good experience, a really positive experience. There's been no point on this journey that I've looked in the mirror and gone, oh God, oh no, what have I done? Or wished I'd never even bitten the bullet with this process at all. So for me, it's been a real positive experience. Now my discount code is 10%, so every, every little helps. But listen, I'm not here to sell it. I was just here to show you my journey. And now I'm going to do something I didn't think I was going to do. Um, I'm actually going to take off my lip makeup that I've got on today. As you can see, I have got a lipstick on and I'm going to take it off. I'm going to show you what's underneath just so you can actually see the actual final results. There you go, there's nothing on it. What's left on my lips now is the lip blushing tattoo. As the treatment is called Gloss and Go, I'm gonna use a little bit of my gloss. I'm gonna go. So ladies, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will link everything down below for you as always. I'll also give you the discount code below if you're thinking of biting the bullet. Please do ask any questions as well because this is just my experience. If you have any other questions that I didn't address in this video, then just pop your question in the comments box down below. And I will see you next week for a Peacock's haul. I know it's come soon, but this is April's Peacock's haul and it is going to be huge. So until next Friday, have a fantastic weekend have a fantastic week and I will see you on the flip side.